What's your opinion on the fact that Chinese researchers seem to have found a way for quantum computers to break encryption? Sure. I mean, there's it's a big if. The paper still has to be proven to be complete and accurate, and that's a big if because there's a lot of critics saying that it, it there's issues. But if it's proven to be true and complete,、uh, it's it's really huge. It's probably one of the biggest、uh, you know computing、uh, solutions ever. And the reason why is、uh, right now we think to break today's what's called asymmetric encryption. That's public-private key encryption that runs most of the internet. It's what's used in Wi-Fi. It's used in logins. It's it's really asymmetric encryption is used in probably 95% of our digital lives. Well, currently the the current known algorithm that breaks that encryption, known as Shor's algorithm, that was invented in 1994. Says that you really need about nine thousand quantum bits or qubits, but they have to be stable qubits. And to get we can't make stable qubits right now. So really, in reality, it would probably take hundreds of thousands to millions of qubits to be able to break today's asymmetric encryption. What the recent Chinese paper,、uh, which was released in December twenty second. Two thousand and twenty-two says is that we can break that same encryption with three hundred and seventy-two even regular qubits, noisy qubits. So it really decreases the work effort needed from、uh, potentially hundreds of thousands and millions of qubits to just three hundred and seventy-two. If that paper is accurate and true, uh, uh, there will likely be this year. A quantum computer that breaks,、uh, you know, some some asymmetric encryption problem, and it would actually even create a bit of a panic、uh, because none of our companies, or very few of our companies around the world, are prepared for this quantum、uh, encryption break. We, as a matter of fact, we've been told we have till 2033 or 2035 that we have 10,、uh, 12, 15 years to prepare. But if this Chinese paper is correct. Uh, then it means we have to get it done now, and it's going to create a massive Y2K-like problem where every individual, every company, is going to have to be updating the computer systems, replacing devices. It's really going to be one of the most.、Uh, it's going to be mo- one of the most challenging upgrades,、uh, digital upgrades, the world has ever faced. Do big tech companies care about APP platform settings? You know, in in general,、uh, for our you know, smart home and our、uh, and our IoT devices, <laughs> most of them are fairly insecure. There, I don't think there's anything we can do to stop them from being insecure. I mean, there there's lots of stuff we could do, but I think that the industry is going to move along faster and not do as much security as they should. It it seems many times that we are doomed to repeating the same lessons. You know, like we. We've learned about all the attacks and hackers and malware and what they can do against personal computers, and then the same thing is happening with mobile phones. We're seeing the same attacks and same malware, and it's almost like we learn nothing from computers.、Uh, the, and the same thing is happening with IoT and smart home technology. Is that all kinds of devices and IoT devices are being released without thorough、uh, security considerations, and certainly they are going to be hacked and hacked and hacked. There's lots we could do to do it. We could be thoughtful and try to design and deploy them in a more secure way.、Uh, but people and companies are more interested in getting the technologies out there than they are in slowing down to make them more secure before they offer them to consumers. So the sad thing is, is that we're going to see lots and lots, thousands if not millions, of different types of devices hacked and and abused and used against us.